hi everyone welcome to my youtube channel in this video we will study about uh, one of the experiment that is determination of thickness and refractive index of a given glass plate using laser so aim of this experiment is to determine the thickness and refractive index of a glass plate so the apparatus required here are helium neon laser glass plate screw gauge so i will show you this is the screw gauge to measure thickness of of a given three different glass plate so this is the tissue paper uh, we require then this is the helium neon laser source okay then this is the stand where we have to keep the glass plate so here um, just uh, before starting the experiment you should read the theory okay then uh, the procedure of the experiment i will explain you first this is the experimental uh, setup or the diagram so according to that we have to make the arrangements so these are the observations you should note down refractive index of glass that is 1.5 least count of the screw gauge okay uh, that is equal to 1 pitch divided by number of divisions on head scale okay so here 100 number of divisions on head scale and this is the pitch scale Point one. That is least count is point zero zero five millimeter. So you can see this is in terms of millimeter. Then uh, zero error you have to find out using the screw gauge. How much you will get? You should write. Then formulas to calculate refractive index of a glass is given here. and thickness also you should note down them and total reading uh, that is uh, thickness measurement has been given using uh, screw gauge you have to measure percentage error at the end you have to calculate so before uh, going to start the experiment what we have to do we have, we have to measure the thickness of a glass plate using screw gauge so i will show you how to measure before going to measure the thickness of glass plate you should know the parts of screw gauge this these are called jaws and this is the pitch scale and this is the head scale so number of divisions on head scale is 100 and pitch scale uh, that is one division is equal to 1 uh, then this is called uh, the ratchet this end so i will show you how to measure the thickness so first we should know how to measure the zeroth error so when these two jaws touches each other what will be the head scale reading uh, when it touches to the pitch scale uh, uh, to the zero of the pitch scale so here we can clearly see uh, the 20 divisions are the zeroth error uh, that is uh, zeroth error is 20 so first we should hold uh, the screw gauge uh, <coughs> like this and then uh, we have to keep the glass between these two jaws then then we should note down the reading you can see here uh, the pitch scale psr is uh, about 2.5 okay uh, then you have to note down uh, the value psr 2.5 and head scale that is about uh, how much you have you will get that you should note down here i have written 12 then zero error 20 least count already we know then total reading if you calculate you will get the thickness of this given glass so like that you should measure the thickness of other two glasses then you can uh, start doing the experiment so first what i will do here i will take tissue paper hold it on this glass plate 
and you should wet this tissue paper with water slowly so uh, if you wet with this uh, tissue paper with water so that it will attach to the glass plate then you must hold it in this uh, stand after holding the tissue paper uh, attached to the glass plate in this stand we have to switch on the laser mean switch okay you can see uh, the laser has been switched off so uh, we have to adjust the laser uh, so that it must fall on this glass plate okay so then what we have to do we have to measure the innermost uh, diameter of the innermost ring using this scale okay so how much is there uh, that you have to measure it is about 0.5 then uh, so after measuring the innermost diameter you can go for the calculation so like that you have to repeat the same procedure for other two o glasses of different thickness you should measure the thickness using screw gauge and then you have to attach the tissue paper and uh, note down the innermost uh, diameter of the ring using scale so after uh, taking the reading you can go for the calculation so three different classes thickness their diameter and then radius uh, you have to calculate so after uh, determining the thickness of three different classes you should uh, note down the diameter uh, by doing the experiment so for different thicknesses you will have the diameters uh, then you have to measure the radius of the innermost ring after determining the diameter then you can go for the calculation of refractive index uh, once you know the radius of the innermost ring obtained using the laser light when it falls on the glass plate uh, attached to the tissue paper so these are the three refractive index you will get from the calculation uh, using radius of different thicknesses so it must be near to the 1.5 so the refractive index of glass is 1.5 so if we have we got uh, nearly uh, near values so if we take mean it is about 1.474 then you can go for this second tabular column that is after determining the refractive index we have to measure the thickness okay using thickness you can measure the refractive index using refractive index we have to measure the thickness that must also be near to the um, obtained values so here refractive index diameter radius and uh, to calculate the thickness there is a formula so you have to calculate the thickness of different glasses then um, you have to compare the thickness uh, calculated thickness and the measured thickness that they must be near so this is the calculation part okay calculation of thickness refractive index of three glasses then again measuring the thickness using formula and at the end uh, percentage error you should calculate the average uh, value of refractive index and the uh, actual value of refractive index 1.5 then finally you will have the uh, error that is about 1.73% means this experiment is uh, done very well then you have to write down at the end results okay refractive index of class percentage error in refractive index so you can write like this hope this video is helpful for you thank you for watching